next for the inventory network uh, in inventory we're gonna install spiceworks it's, uh, it's another software to uh, do a full inventory of everything that is connected on your network all the machines all the peripherals and hardware um, installed on them as well as softwares so for uh, spiceworks let's go to uh, it's server it's gonna give me a lot of error so let's go with Chrome <coughs> Let's uh, run for search for spice works inventory right there. <coughs> spice works download inventory. <coughs> so you see it's uh, downloading. Let's go to the open and install it. It's very easy. Uh, this is the first time I'm installing it on this server. So you see it's not already installed. Uh, only these two are installed. I did not make a video of them. I'm gonna make a video of them as well. So let's right there. Basically, this port number is tell uh, like all the computers they have different ports. Uh, so it's telling you that uh, it's going to install this port on this server, and uh, nine six seven five. All right, so we can leave it as the default one. If you want, you can change it to like port eighty or anything uh, of your choosing. Like eighty is for HTTP. Uh, I think four fifty three is for uh, secure connection 25 is for FTP so yeah you get them so these are the four ports that you have to remember normally they pick up automatically we'll go with the automatic one it can install it on this one in this directory we let it install It says it's install desktop shortcode and Spiceworks. No, yeah, we want to run the Spiceworks and uh, play with it a little bit. <coughs> open this. Do you want to open this on Internet Explorer or Chrome? I will go with Chrome because it's a server. <coughs> Excuse me. It and it's gonna give us a lot of errors on Internet Explorer. It's gonna actually basically ask you of each uh, address it can ask you add ignore remove restrict all that so that's only happened on the server so we don't want to deal with that we're gonna go with the uh, chrome so uh, unlike the pdq that uh, you had the software that you uh, run and you actually go into that software to manage everything this spice works run from the web um, interface so basically you access it through the web browser you see it already picked up my name uh sorry <laughs> not my name my can be a server's name so if you see it's server 2019 oh sorry if you can right click here and you see right there server 19 so server 19 server 19 and that is if you remember that's the port name right there 9675 so if you were to let's try another one if you were to go localhost and you put 9675 9675 let's see what happens you see you get to that page so <coughs> either you put localhost you put your computer's name and then uh, <coughs> colon and uh, the port number it will take you web browser will take you to that uh, uh, software's uh, page so right here it's asking you to log in sign in um, 
I have an account um, I'm gonna see if uh, that works uh, let me check that account first so this password is the one that you um, I checked that uh, I have a, an account uh, with the uh, Spiceworks so basically if you don't have one you have to go and use the one over there because you are getting started and you need to sign in <clears throat> like uh, if you had a uh, any other email address it will not work because you're not signing up you're signing in uh, so for example if I put uh, exam no let's put my mm, email address and give it the wrong password <coughs> I'm gonna go with the world's most generic password that people use and get hacked all the time and you see it did not work so you have to have an account with spiceworks for it to work so you have to give it the correct password <coughs> now it should uh, get that authenticated it did it's asking me do you want to save it uh, never uh, it's a server I don't want to use because it's uh, it has only like its evaluation so I don't want to save everything on it because I'm gonna, in the end I'm gonna just delete it <coughs> so I'm gonna give my name that is Imran and uh, mm, let's say Imran dot local and what industry is your company right right now it's in education because I'm uh, just uh, evaluating it <coughs> so um, I should make this window a little bigger so the enhanced session if you remember my previous video enhanced session does this if you you see this is uh, if I click it it will go to basic session but uh, the one cool thing with enhanced session is you can actually resize the virtual machines uh, window size <coughs> on the other one uh, if you see you cannot do that so you're stuck at this size if you're doing the basic session so you cannot go in and out of that you cannot big make it bigger <coughs> so that's what I did with this one all right so and uh, this one we can go discover and monitor my devices and all that uh, let's go with discover now it's gonna ask you for all the passwords like uh, do you um, <coughs> do, you, do you like network for uh, if you have a printer server then you have to give its uh, credentials if you have Mac machines or Linux uh, machines you have to them you can use the I don't have credentials and I have credentials so this will be your domain username I'm gonna put Imran slash <coughs> mm, let's give it administrator account so for the sake that uh, it does not have any problem logging into any machine <coughs> go to inventory SSH username ah oh, I don't have any so you see discovering devices it's discovering all the devices uh, on my network it's saying that you seem to have <coughs> eight that's about right okay got it now if you see it's checking my th oh that's my actual desktop this is my router this one no idea this is Windows 8 machine over there this one again no idea this is uh, uh, the test machine running and test machine running I think these devices one two and three since I see the router and my desktop here uh, it's going through my whole network it's a uh, it's extremely powerful uh, Spiceworks seems to be more powerful than uh, PDQ you see it picked up everything on my network and this must be the TV is not connected so this could be the PlayStation and <coughs> I don't know like if it's a for sure PlayStation or not and one of them could be the Amazon Fire Stick because on the top of my head those are the only two devices that I know are on right now so I think that's what it is so let's see if <coughs> oh it says server desktop desktop and you see test and test 2 are on 
let's fire up another machine and see if the it automatically detects it or do we have to run it again this time we're gonna run Windows 7 uh, we don't want to start it connect and we <coughs> I think Windows 7 you can directly log in to log in through your uh, domain accounts you don't have to click uh, for the uh, basic session and if you don't remember from my previous video this for this if you uh, press control or delete it will uh, Windows will assign it to your host uh, control host machine so for the control uh, control alt delete for the virtual machine you have to press control alt and end on your keyboard and now you see i can log in with the yes so windows 7 has no problem you can log in with the uh, um, <coughs> uh, domain account only because uh, the enhanced session mode has been available since windows 8 or above 8.1 uh, and 10 they support it so windows 7 does not support uh, enhanced mode so that's why you see it's grayed out over here and that's why i was able to log into windows 7 without any problem <coughs> mm. uh, it's let's see if uh, it detected or not not yet <coughs> uh, if you can see it's still working so it's uh, running <coughs> it's gathering data about them uh, let's see if I can no nope. cannot right click on it and get anything yet can I get anything by double clicking oh right there down there so uh, the user no unknown it's not connected but it gets me the IP address of that one <coughs> I hope uh, it's this one though I remember it was uh, ah, it could be this one also 117 is for the test I was mixing it with this one all right <coughs> sorry about the throat it's uh, uh, the brothers changing I try to control it mm. So I want to wait until we explore everything so I'm going to let it run for a while. Let's call this video uh, and when it's scanned everything I will uh, create another one with the it's still welcoming you. Wow, taking a long time to log into Windows 7. <coughs> description windows computers windows computer with error sample it's a sample data so it's still uh, getting all the data it's running for the first time i think it will take time <coughs> oh you can further add devices uh, further add devices by manual entry uh install agent is um i think you can uh, install agents what it is remote sites okay from the remote sites of the if you are not in the same building not under the same network <coughs> that's for that one so you can install an agent over there and that will gather all the information and connect you with your main uh, spiceworks uh, inventory so since we are <coughs> oh take me back to my inventory we can click this link and we're back and windows 7 has not yet uh, is not it's not there yet uh, it's still i think loading in close cancel <coughs> Oh, it picked up as virtual machine so where is the scanning so eight devices scanning done I'm assuming scanning done let's see uh, if we configuration still sample data more data for this device 
recent devices. <coughs> Let's see scan. Again, it's gonna ask you for all that cool softwares, sample data, what's installed, rescan device. For some reason it's saying it's not connected. I think that's not a check mark over there. Uh, it should be. Oh, it's still scanning right there. <coughs> so let's leave it here. I'm going to come back to this one uh, once uh, everything is up and running. And uh, I will show you more.